guys doing today? Good, how are you? Good. You, you can say it. Alright. So you gotta say it. It's weird. It's okay. weird for me saying it. My name's Haley. My name is Matthew, and we're pregnant. <laughs> yeah, I, can't I don't take feel you good serious. saying that at all. You got to say that. Oh, I have to say it. Yeah, because you're pregnant. My name's Haley. I'm 16 years old, and I'm 32 weeks pregnant. My name is Matthew. I'm 16 years old, and I'm the dad. Your whole life is ruined now, fucking idiot. Like a double scoop of banana pudding. It's like there should be, yeah. And I'll get that, please. When I met Haley, I was talking to one of her best friends. <laughs> and, um, I seen her in the background on FaceTime, and I thought she was cute. <laughs> she just looked like a preppy white girl that was really innocent, and I was like, oh, yeah. Why'd and, I have to be white? She was mean, though, because you're white. But why you gotta call me white girl? I don't know. What am I supposed to call you? <laughs> anyway, so I told her Typical. best friend I was talking to, I asked her for Haley's number. And, and then I went off on him, because, like, that was my best friend. And then the next day we started dating. <laughs> yeah. Let me see these pictures, by the oh, way. I stuck it in her. Oh, look, there's a little thing thing. It says I'm a girl. I've had other crushes, but I wouldn't kiss nobody. I was just kind of weird. And when I met him, it took me a while to kiss him because I was really innocent. Forever. It took her the longest to make out with me, but we had sex before that. Yeah. I'm sorry. What do you mean? You had sex with her before you kissed her? Yeah. She got your sure. lips. You been... <laughs> DLC producer was like, I'm, I'm sorry, pause, pause. What? Oh. So my lips are itty bitty and yours are all. I ain't how it's done. <laughs> when I found out they were having sex, um, I did take measures and I had great talks with both of them. Well, you didn't take such well measures, did ya? I told Matthew, you know, use a condom. You can only do so much as a parent. I wanted to get my noodle wet. <laughs> it's just hard to get the noodle wet when there's a piece of plastic covering the noodle. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> is this a fucking joke? Is this is this funny to them, right? I just fucking slapped the living shit out of him. And then I turn around to my daughter and I will give her worse. Spread your fucking legs like that, slut. Serious right now? I just want to get my noodle wet. I'm gonna get my noodle wet without a piece of plastic in the Are you fucking kidding me right now, you piece of shit? You fucking serious? I'll fucking cut that thing off and then you're gonna get wet for a whole different reason. Trust and believe. She has your nose for sure. What a little fag. What a little fucking fag. Where are his parents? I want to have a word with them. The fucking who 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 invested their their time into this one? He's the winning sperm. I beg to differ. I really beg to differ for that. <laughs> when I found out Haley was pregnant, she sent me a picture of her pregnancy test and told me she was pregnant. His he didn't even fucking kiss her first. He just shoved the fucking dick in her. Probably didn't even know how to fucking use it. Probably as soon as he touched it, he just was uh, fucking ejaculated in her. That's it. That's how it happened. Bet you any fucking money. Bet you any money. Action was just like, ow. He's got no fucking clue. I don't know. I didn't know how to react to it, so I just reacted normal. I started crying, and then I started laughing. I don't know why. I was just like, I guess I was nervous, and when I'm nervous, I start laughing. That was fucking hilarious, I'll tell you that. The fact that and so I, start, I started crying and I just started laughing like I don't know 
I was kind of excited, but I was just like really nervous. You're not even developed yet. You are fucking like, retarded. Have now, and that's I have a child. No wrecking thing. You drank all my root beer. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I have none left. Back in the day, they used to have them early, but they were I don't know, a bit more <laughs> committed, cultured. Nowadays, it's just slutting around, shoving this and that, here and there, opening yourself up, here and there, God knows what. More. No commitment whatsoever. When I told my mom, she was really dramatic about it. Dramatic? But I guess when my daughter's older, if she told me that I would do the same thing, and I, I don't, I'm not going to let her get pregnant like i'm not gonna do let my oh, really? daughter have a boy in her room like my mom did oh, when my really? daughter is on age she will not be having boys staying over at the house just not gonna happen not having a son and he can have girls over whenever we want no. she no. That <laughs> see that's not happen either see that's the thing something i don't get something i've actually experienced someone telling me before if it's a guy, if you have a boy as a child, it's like, hell yeah, score. Go fuck some bitches. If it's a girl, you don't want to be touched. Dude. No matter what my <laughs> child gender is, I don't give a fuck. My son is my still responsibility. I'm not gonna high five him. I'm gonna drill him to shit. Did you do this? Did you do that? You're responsible for everything. Like, I'm not accountable for his fucking dick. It's his dick. Right? And her foot. Shits me off. Different two standards. Six toes. Wait, what? <laughs> I take a little responsibility in Haley getting pregnant. It happened underneath my roof. Last summer, Matthew and his father were having some issues, and I felt that he was not in a good situation over there, and I took him in. He f stayed in my third bedroom. They tried to sneak in each other's rooms, and I'd bust them. But kids will be kids. If it wouldn't have happened in my roof, it probably would have happened under another roof. So they would have yeah, I do fucked by then, because they're touching tongues, which is kissing. Um, which means I already <laughs> have guilt. Mothers always have guilt. Live with it then now. What can you do? What time's your sister getting here? Um, I do not know. She didn't answer. I can't believe I've never met your sister after almost two years of us dating. It can be awkward at first because I don't like talking to people that I don't know. <laughs> You're the only. And how do you know people? How do you make meet new people if you don't like talking to them? <laughs> Two people. I, I, I really got my life, so yeah, I need to get off to a good start. Katie is Matthew's sister, and in the beginning of our relationship, they didn't really talk. They were on, like, bad terms. I'm supposed to meet her today, and I'm really excited, but I'm nervous because she's always going to be in his life, and I am too, so we need to, like, They honestly look like along. little children eating fucking ice cream and whatnot. You're the most important person gonna in my life. They're going to be parents. She's the second. The second? Yeah. Dang, why is she that far? Because you're the first, she's the second? How's that far? Technically, you're second, to be honest. Cause my daughter's first, you're second, she's third. I already know how Katie's going to act when she meets Haley. I just hope Haley can handle it. Katie has the personality of like a, like a cheetah. She's always up and moving. A cheetah? Yeah, too. And Haley's like the, the the sit back lazy hippo that doesn't like touching stuff. Do some research on a hippo. I guess they're, I'm they're fat. Living. That's not what I meant. But Hippos are fat. That's not what I meant. I'm I see what you meant. But you, of course, she would take it off. Yeah, they're pretty furious. Hippo gets ya. You're fucked.
You probably saw close more deaf in Africa than fucking cheetahs, cunt. I'm just gonna call it one more time just in case. Research them. They're fat. They're big. Okay. I'm born with Katie's Girl, father. you're big. Her and her boyfriend. You're pregnant. Eh? Neither one of them can answer the phone. I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty embarrassing, yeah. So Katie, she did flake on this. Thanks. They don't want to answer you. It's real embarrassing that Katie didn't show up. We've been waiting for who As knows a big how sister, long I wouldn't after either. the time Fuck she was you. already supposed to be here. How do you expect anybody to trust you if you're not going to show up, you're not going to answer the phone, you're not going to answer the text? It's, it's how my sister is. It's how my family is. It's how we are. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but the fact that she didn't show up disappointed me a lot. I guess uh, they're not going to make it. We're going to have to meet her another time. I don't really know why Katie didn't show up. I'm just kind of disappointed because I did want to meet her. She can even be late. There's really no excuse. Please leave a message. No answer.